Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne, and today, be it Wednesday, we're going to be doing box six of the Agora Models release and build the New York Ladder 9 fire truck. So after two days of 40 degrees Celsius heat, and believe me, last night was a killer, uh, we've got a fire truck to put out the fire today. It's only in the low 20s, so uh, it's nice and cool. Uh, I don't have to worry about having no sleep. Uh, last night, Mrs. World Away didn't get any sleep at all, unfortunately, but uh, we did have a thunderstorm, so that was quite nice. Um, but that's now come to an end, so uh, I, <laughs> normal service resumed, I guess. Um, today we're going to be doing box six, which is basically we're making a lot of storage boxes. We're going to need some of the parts we worked on in previous packs to attach it the main one being uh, these couple of items here that we've been working on last time so uh, if you want to get this for yourself I have put the link to the Agora models website down in the video description you get this all the way from pack one but without further ado let's get cracking So this pack is going to start with stage 38 and I'll get everything out. Once again, everything is individually wrapped in this. Look at that. Check that out. Okay, so we're going to need this great big metal part that we had in stage 38 looking like that. And we're also going to need the stabilizer support that looks just like that. And as you can see, you have got a notch just in the top there. It's like the corner's been cut off. That's going to go in the top left. So that's going to go just like that there. Now on top of that, we've got the left stabilizer looking like that. It's already spring loaded for us. And that's just going to go into the holes of that plate that we've just put in. And through to the other side. So that's fixed in like that. And that's held in from the other side with two H screws. Now these came in one of the previous packs. You want to save all the screws for this one. You don't want to uh, bin any screws because you never know when you're going to need it later on. So one in this hole here and then just one on the other side. Perfect. Now we're going to be building some steps and as you can see we've got four almost identical pieces here. We've got a short one with short lugs. Uh, next size up has got really long lugs and then these two are identical. So I want the short one first and quite simply all I'm going to do is I'm going to push this bracket onto the short lugs here like that. Now they are going to need to be glued in. So I do have a tray here, got that all ready, put some glue in here. Now even, it's, even though it's in the low 20s today, it's still hot enough to make this glue dry very quickly. So I'm very conscious of that, but uh, putting some glue just on this part. And I'll get this side into place. So there you go. That looks like that. Now we need the ones with the longest lugs looking like that. That's going to go on top just there. So once again, a little bit of glue to get that in. I'm just holding that for a second. And as you can see, the longest lug ones actually come through the other side there. That's how we're going to mount that later on. And then quite simply, we're just going to be putting the bracket on the other side. Now notice I am putting this on with just my little tiny pin vise. And that's because I don't want to swamp it in glue. But there you go. That's on. And as you can see, I've made two steps. Put that to one side. And now we need this plate that looks like that with two sets of holes or three sets of two holes going like that. Looks like this here. Put that down. And I'm going to be putting the last two steps like this here into these. So one is going in this side here, facing that way round. And the other one is going just behind it right here. Oops, make sure it's uh, all pointing the same way. So that looks like that. Add in what we just created. So that's going to go into this one at the bottom. They are holding themselves in. It's amazing how that's just come together so quickly. And then I can just put that to one side and bring over this corrugated 
bit of steel here. And as you can see, we have got a little detail on top of that. Now I have got a reflector just to put into that uh, little indent here. So with the reflector, I'm just gonna put some glue just around the lugs on either side here. We have done this before. And then I'll push these in. So that's in like that. And then I will add just a bit of glue again, just to the middle section there. So this doesn't fall out. You do have a large lug and a small lug to put this reflector in, but I don't want this falling out. So that's going to go in, whoops. Holding that in place for a second. Just like that. While we're waiting for all that to dry, I could just put those to one side and bring over this section here. And as you can see, we've got two indents here. We're gonna be putting a rail into these. So I'm just gonna drop a little bit of glue in each indent. This is what the rail looks like. So push that in. And the glue is gonna hold that into place, just making sure that's straight. And there we go, that's that. So let's assemble these steps. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this section we just made, and then with the detailing at the top of them, it's gonna go in here just like that. Once again, I am just gonna put a spot of glue just into these holes here, because I don't want this falling out. And there you go, that's in like that. Making sure again, this is at 90 degrees. And then on the other side, just to piece everything together, we're gonna to have this, which has got the handrail on it as well, which again, this time, I think I'm gonna put some glue just into the center of each section here. Again, not a lot, because we don't want this weeping out onto this plate. We wanna keep that as clean as possible. And get this in. It does take a little bit of a line in, but I am just holding that into place for a second. That looks pretty impressive. Check that out. Love it. I've got a little bit of pushing together here. Don't want any gaps. Excellent. And there you go. All in. So we're now going to be bringing over this massive section here that we have been working on previously. And we're going to be attaching this section here just to the side of this. Now this is going to go on basically these lugs here we're going to align it to these two holes here so one on this side and one just down the bottom there so that's on like that and that's going to be held in with five d screws which i've got in this bag here these are silver screws now they are saying because they are shallow screws to apply a little bit of glue to the tip of each one so what i'm going to do is i'm just fitting every glue point or every screw point with a little bit of glue. So that will happen when I put these screws in. Because as you can see, uh, these screws are very tiny. Okay. That's one, two, three, four, M5. Boy, there's a lot to do in this uh, stage, isn't there? So, there we go, that's on. As you can see, that holds itself on, no problems at all. Now we need the compartment that we made in stage 31, which looks like this. This has got the light in it, or the lead. That's gonna basically go into this end section here. So I need to pass through the cable, just like this and then insert the box into place. So as you can see, that's in like that. And the cable, as you see, is coming out of the back there. Now next to it, we want another storage compartment, which we made in stage 36, which looks just like this. This is the narrow one. Now with the hinge at the bottom, this is going next to it into the position here, like that. Now, if you're wondering how far to push these in, I'm just pushing them in so that they are completely level here. I don't know if you can see that on the top camera, but that's sort of like how much you've got coming out each side. Now we need the storage compartment we made 
in stage seven, long time ago, looking like this. Again, we're matching the lines up like we've got around here. So this is gonna go in here just like that. And again, just push that in so it's level with all the others there. And then with the ladder we've created before, that looks like that, that's all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 39, we're gonna be making another storage box and we have got the battery box here as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is put this last storage box just in the end here that we've been working on. As you see, we've got two sort of like locating lugs on here. This is gonna go in just like that there. It's gonna be held in with two D screws again. Once again, we wanna put some uh, spot of glue just on the driving points for them. So one over this side, one over that side. Now they're saying we don't need glue for this bit, but we're gonna take the steps that we had. We're gonna push that into the center. It should fit quite snug in there, which it does. And push that in to the holes. And there we go. That's in, no problems at all. Now underneath the steps that we've just put in there, we're gonna be putting the battery box. So that looks just like this. And I wanna feed these wires through the center there and then rest this on top like that. That's gonna be held in with some J screws. They come in this pack. So three of those. So we've got one just down the end here and then two at the other side. So that's the battery box attached and then all you gotta do is take the cover, the lid here, slot that into the hinges at the back and then we're gonna secure that into place with the eye screw that again comes in this pack. So this model takes three AAA batteries. So I'm gonna have to get some of them together for when I power this up. And aside from these brackets here that we've got in the bag, that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 40, we've got the rear left light cluster, a control board and some accessories. So I wanna get out first the reflector, all these lights in here, look, check that out. Lenses. And the covers here. And then the way we wanna put this in is we want a red lens, an amber lens, a clear lens, and then a red lens. So I'm gonna put all these in. Now when we put these in, we wanna use some sort of PVA glue. I'm gonna be using micro crystal clear here because you don't want the super glue to smear these lenses. Now this dries absolutely clear. So I'm putting this into the lugs here. I think that's ample. And I'll get these lenses in. So top is a red lens, then an amber lens, then the clear. And then finally, a red lens again. So that looks like that. Now we've got the PCB board with all those lights attached that looks like that. Get this open. So before we put this over the top, we're gonna to take these little tiny clear bulb lenses and they're just gonna go into this side here. So line them up, and push them into the holes. The end of the screwdriver will help you push these down. So we're going to be putting this PCB board on. Now if the handle is down this way, we want it so that the red lead is nearest to the top. So it's going to go on this way here. And it's going to be held in with a Type M screw. Very tiny screw this one. And there we go, that's in like that. Don't over tighten this. That's in perfectly. And there we go, that's the lens in place. So now we wanna take this back section and we worked on this in stage two. This is from a long time ago as well, uh, with a number nine. We're gonna thread this lens through the hole here, just like that. And then this is gonna go onto 
the back of the fire truck just here. So I want to thread the lens then into the side here. And then if I just turn it on its side here, we want it to come out into this section here as well. So it's sort of bending round to where the battery box is going to be. And then it can come out the bottom of the fire truck here, like that. Now we know that's in place, I'm just going to push this bracket, get that all the way through, onto the back, like this. Only on the left side I'm interested in, the right side is obviously not attached to anything at the moment. Then pull this all the way through. So now this is going to sit flush into this unit here. Now we want the box that we made in stage 37, which looks like that. And that is going to go into this section here. Now when we put this in, we have got a little indent in this side, which is going to allow for the wires there, as you can see. And that's perfect. That's in just like that. Shut the uh, door. So I can put that to one side. And we've got another little light cluster to make now, which looks like this. I want to put these three lenses into the holes that we can see at the top there. This is a fiddly stage, isn't it? Now I'm wondering, do I need to glue these? I'm thinking I will. They're not falling out, but they are now. So once again, I'm going to use a little bit of micro crystal clear just in the holes here just to stop them falling out. So that's good, that looks like that. Put that to one side, because we've got some tools now to put on, which look like this here. Now if you remember the midsection that we had, which looks like this here, uh, we've got some tools to add onto this. So basically, we're gonna be putting one side in here, and that's gonna clip into the top, just like this here. So that looks like that. Put that to one side, bring over this section here again. And in this little storage box here, we have got a, a hatchet or an ax to put in just into the holes at the bottom there. So, one this side, one the other side, push that down. So I can close that up, which means all we're left with is the light cluster that we made and a fire extinguisher. That's all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 41, we've got a two door storage shelf, making another uh, storage unit again. Now you know what, we should be a dab hand at this. We've made so many storage compartments uh, that we should know what we're doing now. <laughs> so what I need is the magnet first, and the magnet is just gonna go into that section just there like that. Then I'm gonna get some glue, put some glue just in these two holes here and here. And then put the top on. Put that to one side and we're just going to make the doors now. And as you can see, we've got a magnet already inside the doors. So we're just going to be putting this section on top of this section once again, just with a tiny bit of glue, just onto these points here. That's one. And we do exactly the same on the other door. So that's two doors completed. On the front, of one of these doors. We have got a tidy detail here to put on. This time I'm applying that with my little dropper because this does go in a certain way. It has got a D-shaped pattern here. So that's on like that. So this compartment here with the uh, holes facing upwards are going to slot into the storage box and it attaches at the back so use the runners as a channel and then it clips in like that there and then we're just going to be putting the doors on making sure that the uh, line is going to be right at the bottom of these here so one's going to be going on that side that's going to just be held in with some glue and then just one at the other side and there you go, that's another storage compartment completed. So 
that leads us swiftly onto stage 42. Get this one out. And this time we're gonna have a pull down storage compartment and rear ladder door bay. So get these out. So it's very similar to what we've just done. This time, just with a more narrow door, I'm gonna put some glue just over these pegs here, like that. And then make sure the slanted side of this is pointing towards the hinge. So that goes in like that, just holding that in place while the glue sets. Now you have to forgive me, uh, started to get pretty hot in here. So I have put the air conditioning on, that's the uh, noise you can hear in the background. Got the little handle to put on here. Again, it's a D-shaped pattern. So it can only go in one way like that. Then this is gonna be attaching to the top of this section just like that. So once again, just some glue in the channels here. Line that up and push that into place. And there you go, that's all that done. I'm just gonna create the uh, door here and just similar to what we've done before. Again, just some glue on these pegs here. And this is gonna go in this way, so the magnet's gonna be at the top there. So I'm just holding that into place. And there we go, that looks like that. Now this is actually just gonna go onto the back. We've already created one door. As you can see, uh, where are we? Here. So we're just gonna be putting the other door in place on the other side. So I don't know if you remember when we did this last time, the hinge actually fits between the two metal panels of the box frame and the shell. So I'm just gonna push this in and then we've got some D screws in this stage, which we're gonna be securing that in just onto this side here. You can see the holes probably on the top camera. There we go, so that's one. Now in the interest of saying don't do things I do, when I put it over there, I actually bent this. I've managed to bend that back, it hasn't snapped off. Thank God, just be careful of that bit there. See, I make mistakes so you don't have to, but as you can see, that's on nice and tight still. <laughs> but that's all there is to do in that stage so far, and that is now what this is looking like. So, we're gonna move on to the last stage. So what better way to end the last stage <laughs> than making yet another storage component. <laughs> I'll be making these in my sleep. <laughs> okay, so this section here, magnet is just gonna go on there. Once again, I'm gonna put some glue just on the lugs and close this section up like that. Make the doors. So here's the first one, and again, glue on the lugs. That's one in. And do the same on the other side. We're gonna be taking this magnet section here, driving it down either channel on either side, so it fits into the back here, making sure that the dots are facing upwards there. Now, do you remember we had a fire extinguisher before? That's actually gonna go into the bottom of this. Probably best to put it in now, because it's gonna be a little bit more fiddly when the doors are on. So I'm gonna put that on. Perfect. Now we can put the doors on. So the line is towards the top of this storage box. That's gonna go around this way. Got a little bit of glue excess there, which I just wipe off. So that's one door in. Do the same on the other side. And then finally, I'm just going to use my fine glue adapter here just to put the handle on. So that looks like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. So let me just give you a quick review of what we've got. So we've got this storage um, box here, which as I said, has got the fire extinguisher in it. We've also made this storage box here, which hasn't got anything in it. <laughs> We've made this drop-down storage box here that looks like that. Again, nothing in that. We do have some brackets, which we haven't used. I've also got a H-screw here left over. And then, obviously, we've got the gauge, or the lights, sorry, that we made. 
and then we've got this massive section here which basically we've been putting everything together with which looks pretty impressive so there you go for my ending monologue of turn the air conditioning off but i mean we've done loads let me just show you again just as a size comparison of what we've done that looks really good doesn't it so just shut the doors there but uh pretty happy with that now hopefully next one should be here in four weeks so that'll be box seven but once again if you want to get this for yourself i have put the link in the video description so you can get this for yourself so agora models week is going well so far we've done three models so far this week tomorrow we're going to be doing box two of the titanic build so hopefully you'll tune in then if you haven't subscribed to my channel please remember to subscribe other than that remember if you did like this video please click the like take care